The other great memory I have from that day is Mildred Adams, who was a, an elder who lived there in the Tupelo greenhouse, and her story was so dramatic. She had totally shut down in the traditional nursing home. She hadn't spoken in like a year. She was just basically vegetating, and they thought that was just part of her cognitive loss. They took her to the greenhouse. She literally woke up and looked around. She started, her daughter-in-law started to give her the food, pureed food off the spoon because that's all she'd eaten. She took the spoon and basic, I think she's, I don't know if she started talking then. She started feeding herself. Her daughter-in-law said, would you like a cup of coffee? And she said, yes, with a spoonful of sugar. This is somebody who hadn't spoken in like a year. She was there when I went to visit. And she asked me if I would like her to sing me a song. And I said, I would love that. And she asked, what, what you know, like, make a request. What do you want to hear? And I said, well, whatever you want to sing. And she sang Amazing Grace. And it was amazing. It was truly uh, I will never forget that moment. Oh,